while loop statement. In most computer programming languages, a while loop is a control flow statement that allows code to be executed repeatedly based on a given boolean condition. The while loop can be thought of as a repeating if statement. The while construct consists of a block of code and a condition. The condition is evaluated and if the condition is true, the code within the block is ex executed. This repeats until the condition becomes false because the while loop checks the condition before the block is executed. The control structure is often also known as a pretest loop. Compare this with the do while loop which tests the condition after the loop has executed. Here are some examples of while loop statement. Next is for loop statement. A for loop is a control flow statement for specifying iteration which allows code to be executed repeatedly. Various keywords are used to specify this statement. Descendants of algol use for while descendants of fortran use do. There are other possibilities for example cobol which uses perform varying. A for loop has two parts. A header speci specifying the iteration and the body which is executed once per iteration. The header often declares an explicit loop counter or loop variable which allows the body to know it which iteration is being executed. For loops are typically used when the number of iterations is known before entering the loop. For loops can be thought of as short hands for while loops which in in increment and test a loop variable. Here are some examples of for loop statement. Loop control statements in Python. In Python, break statement inside any loop gives you a way to break or terminate the execution of loop containing it and transfer the execution to the next statement following the loop. Within the loop, there is a print statement that will execute with each iteration of the while loop until the loop breaks. Example, x equals to 0. While x is less than or equal to 5, print x. x plus equals to 1. For the condition of x less than or equal to 5, x was previously declared and set equal to 0. So the first item print out was 0. In the next line, x plus equals to 1 means x equals to x plus 1. Now the value of x is equal to 1. After updating x, the condition is checked again. This process is repeated as long as the condition is true. And once the condition becomes false, the program breaks out of the loop. Of course, once r becomes equal to 5, we will no longer run to the loop. Here the condition of x less than or equal to 5. x was previously declared and set equal to 0. So the first item print out was 0. In the next line, x plus equals to 1 means x equals to x plus 1. Now the value of x is equal to 1. After updating x, the condition is checked again. This process is repeated as long as the condition is true. And once the condition becomes false, the program break out the loop. Of course, once up becomes equal to 5, we will no longer run through the loop. This for loop set ups i as a iterating variable and sequence exists in the range of 0 to 5. Then within the loop, we print out one integer per loop iteration. Keep in mind that in programming, we tend to begin at index 0. So that is why although 5 numbers are print out, they range 0 to 4. You'll commonly see and use for loops when a program needs to repeat a block of code a number of time. Hello everyone. Now, we will discuss about the break statement. The break statement would be the statement that terminates the loop and transfers execution to the statement immediately following the loop. Also, 
it is very useful to exit from any loop such as a for loop and a while loop. The syntax for the break statement is simply the word break. While executing these loops, if the compiler finds the break statement inside them, the compiler will stop executing the statements inside the loop and exit immediately from the loop. The most common use of the break statement is when some external condition is triggered requiring a hasty exit from the loop. The break statement simply means that the loop would be prematurely be terminated. Here's two examples of the break statement. In example number one, we iterate through the Python sequence. We can check if the value or the character is equal to letter H. And upon which we break from the loop, we will see that the output will be all the characters up till letter H gets printed. After the character, the loop would be stopped or terminated. This was also happened in example number 2, but in a different sequence, which is the conditions is when the character is equal to 5, an output would be all the variables greater than 5 would be printed descending by 1, and if it is equal to 5, the loop would be terminated. And now, we will discuss about the continuous statement. The continuous statement is another one to control the flow of loops. This statement can also be used inside a for loop and a while loop. The continuous statement is used to skip the rest of the code inside a loop for the current iteration only. Loop does not terminate but continues on with the next iteration. Also, it causes the loop to skip the remainder of its body and immediately retest its condition prior to reiterating. The syntax for continuous statement is simply the word continue. And we will use the two examples we used at break statement. Example number one is the word Python. If we use the continuous statement, the output should be the letter P, Y, T, and the letter H would be skipped and would continue to letter O and N. And in, and in example number 2, the variable is equal to 10. And if the variable is greater than 0, it will print the number 9, 8, 7, 6, and skip the le character or the let number 5 and continue on from 4 to 0. And that's all. Hello, we will discuss about past statement. Past statement is used when the statement is required syntactically, but you do not want the code to execute. The past statement is the null operation. Nothing happens when it runs. The past statement is also useful in scenarios where your code will eventually go but has not been entirely written yet. The syntax of the past statement is shown at the picture below. Here are some examples of the past statement in Python. In the first example, the code will not do anything, but it also does not throw any error. The second is an example with the class and functions. 
here if you call the function now you will not get any value of error and you can do the same with a class in summary if nothing is supposed to happen in the code the pass statement is needed for the block not to produce the indentation error pass statement makes clear that indeed nothing is supposed to happen in the block of codes and does not need to be actually run and at least temporarily stored in the memory so for now we'll discuss iterator and generator iterator is an object which allows a programmer to traverse through all the elements of a collection regardless of its specific implementations also an iterator is an object which implements the iterator protocol the iterator protocol consists of two methods the dash iter dash parentheses method which must return the iterator object and the next parentheses method which returns the next element from a sequence iterator have several advantages number one is cleaner code second is iterators can work with infinite sequences third is iterator save resources Python has several built-in objects which implement the iterator protocol for example list tuples strings dictionaries or files here is an example below so now we'll discuss about generator generator is a special routine that can be used to control the iteration behavior of a loop a generator is similar to a function returning an array a generator has a parameter it can be called and it can generate a sequence of number but unlike function which return a whole array a generator yield one value at a time this requires less memory generator in Python are defined with def keyword use the yield keyword may use several yield keywords and return an iterator let's look at an example of generator 